Pokemon Day is right around the corner. It's in late February, so I thought it'd be time to finally do a Pokemon Presents slash Pokemon Day prediction list. Also, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the like button, guys. It goes a long way, and I appreciate anyone that does subscribe and supports the channel. So I'm going to start this off basically saying what everyone else wants as well. I would love just some sort of black and white game, some sort of Generation 5 legend style game paradox game remake whatever it may be i just want to go back to generation 5. a lot of people have also kind of been predicting slash speculating a game that is based in generation 5 in the nova region that's kind of connected to scarlet and violet in its own way like a separate game from the original black and white so not a remake but like a new story paradox style game that takes place in the future i think that would be super cool but i would take anything unova related but going on with that Legend style game, I would love a Legends Johto or Legends Celebi. That has been in the talks for months now within the Pokemon community. A lot of people really think that's happening next. It is the 25th anniversary of Gold and Silver though, which is really cool. And the Pokemon Company or Game Freak, they like to kind of have their anniversaries celebrated. So a lot of people think it's probably going to happen this year where we're going to get some sort of Legends Johto, Celebi. I'm also pretty sure that Johto region is the region that we haven't been to in the longest amount of time which would make it that much more sweet to go back to the johto region i guess or at least have another game connected to the johto region same thing with black and white though i would take anything johto related whether it be a like a remake like a remake of the remake so like a let's go style game if it is a let's go johto or let's go whatever they would call it i would Definitely want it to be more in-depth and a better game than Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. I didn't really like Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee all that much. It just wasn't, it just didn't do anything for me, I guess. I don't know. I know pretty much everyone feels the same way about those. Those games were just kind of stale in a way. I think anything around Generation 10 would be insane. I really hope that they give us just a little snippet or announcement of Generation 10. I don't even expect gameplay, screenshots, nothing. I just want them to say anything about Generation 10. They most likely won't. I feel like they're going to save this for probably next year. Next year's Pokemon Day, probably. That would make more sense. But I, the reason I'm saying this is because there were leaks or rumors that the Generation 10 starters and all the Pokemon within that generation have actually already been completed. Like, the designs are already completed. And they've definitely already started production on the game. I mean, production for video games start, like, years and years ahead of time. So they've probably already been working on Generation 10 for, like, two years now, if I had to guess. But I would love anything based around Generation 10. Even like if they just say, hey, this is what the region is called or something like that. Or even just the name or something. I have no idea what they would possibly call Generation 10. But I also do think that they would wait to announce this maybe next year. Because once again, more leaks. And I'm talking about a lot. I know I'm talking about a lot of leaks here. There are more leaks that suggest that there might be a brand new Nintendo console coming out this year. Which I don't think they would announce on Pokemon Day, I think they're gonna save that for like a Nintendo Direct or something, which I think we'll probably get one in like March or something. Can't remember, but so I'm kind of conflicted and confused here because there were also leaks. Once again, I'm sorry guys, I'm talking a lot about leaks. Everything is based around leaks nowadays, but there were leaks that a mainline Pokemon game is coming out in 2024, so that's a big game, big title. But then if they release a new console this year, they want to save the next big Pokemon game for the next console. So that's kind of also why I think they're gonna do a Johto or a Unova game this year because it's not like a huge game so they could still do it on the Switch or still release on the Switch. Who knows though, maybe they will release whatever game they're talking about this year on the next console that will come out this year. That'd be pretty cool. I feel like they're going to release Generation 10 in 2026 though because I think that's the 30th anniversary and it would be a good time to release it after, you know, like a year after the next console comes out. Something else I would love is if Generation 1 through 3 of Pokemon were released, like ported onto the Switches, like eShop or a physical release. Once again, though, I don't know how this would work out if they're releasing a new console this year, but let's just pretend they're not releasing a new console this year. It'd be so sick if we had Generation 1, 2, and 3 ported onto the Switch, just like the original versions or even the remakes. Like, imagine Heart Gold and Soul Silver on the Switch. That would be so sick. I highly doubt it, though. I really don't think that they will, but I just love them to just to do it, please. And if not on the Switch, then please on the next console. That would be so great. I think an announcement of a new Ranger game or a Mystery Dungeon game would be really cool too. It's been a long time since we've had a uh, rain. It's been a long time since we've had a Ranger game, and I think it's you know I think it's due. And along that, I would love a Pokemon pinball game. 
I don't know if they're ever going to do another Pokemon Pinball game, but Pokemon Pinball is really cool, so I really hope that they actually do bring one out one day. You know, could just be in a couple years. But imagine a new Pokemon Pinball. I think that'd be pretty cool. And the Switch is a perfect console for it, too. With the single screen, you could play it on the phone or on the TV. It's probably a relatively low production budget game to make anyway, so that'd be really cool. Or even, like, on the iPhone. If they made a Pokemon Pinball on the iPhone, I'm sure there's going to be announcements about some sort of update for Pokemon Unite or the other Pokemon, like, phone apps. I can't remember the names of some of the apps, though, but there are a few Pokemon apps that... They still update. Pokemon Unite has a huge fan base for it still. Like, like a lot of people still actually play Pokemon Unite. And I think there were also leaks about, like, Corridon and Meridon, like, making their way to the game to Pokemon Unite. Not sure how legit that leak was. I think that was just from some random, like, random posts online. But still, that would be really cool for some new Pokemon Unite stuff. I haven't played that game in a while. I gotta pick that one up again. I also hope they announce the new movie. There's a new movie rumored to be released this year with a new mythical Pokemon, and that's major because there was a mythical Pokemon within the Scarlet and Violet DLC, but that was for the DLC, so technically it wasn't the Paldea mythical, if that makes sense. So the rumor is that there's going to be a new mythical released alongside the new Pokemon movie coming out probably this year. And that mythical Pokemon would actually be like the mythical for the Paldea region, which would be super cool. And I hope the movie would be great. I don't know how good the new Pokemon movies have been. I haven't watched any of the recent Pokemon movies in the last like 12 years, probably. The OG movies are great though. But if they do release a new movie, I really hope that they give us a new mythical. There were leaks about like it being some sort of ape monkey creature. I. I don't know, I'm down for whatever, I just love seeing new mythical Pokemon, and that would also give us a new reason, another reason to go back to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet for another time. It's so cool that they could update Pokemon games so easily nowadays because it's all online and everything. I think that'd be really cool, I, I always enjoy going back to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, you know, with all the DLCs and then the Pacharan event. I think that'd be great. Let me know what you guys really want to see though. What are you guys predicting? What do you think? What are you guys predicting? What's your wish list for the Pokemon Day Pokemon Presents coming in just about three-ish weeks from now? Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.